special. Uh, it's, it's a special place, great tradition, great basketball history. Um, obviously winning four uh, national championships uh, since 2012. Uh, having the players we've had, D'Angelo Russell and Ben Simmons. Uh, Joel Embiid was a player here as well. Um, and then uh, up to R.J. Barrett this past year being the best player in the country. Uh, it's, it's a special place to be. My name is Ben Witherspoon, assistant coach for the Montverde Academy varsity basketball team, and I'm one of the coaches for the Montverde Academy Center for Basketball Development. Right now, I think it, it represents the, the best high school basketball program in the country, um, represented by our head coach, Kevin Boyle, who's known as one of the best coaches uh, at any level in the country. Actually, Coach K from, from Duke Basketball uh, said that Coach Kevin Boyle could coach at any level and be a great coach at high school, college, or NBA. He's wide open. Now that's got to be you. You got to crack him. Well, get here. Well, tell me you need to do it. So do it. So people say you're looking at me. Like, you, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Get back. He's rolling to the rim. He's wide open. Who's gonna get him? Him? He's behind him. Go. Who could possibly get him? Only you. If you don't crack him, he's got a dunk. There's no way. He can get him. He's the what about he's crazy. You? He is crazy, but he's he just thinks about the game. So. Like, he says stuff that you'll, like, I've been playing the game, I feel like for a long time, he'll say something, I'll be like, wow, it's really that simple. So, I mean, he's wild. He has, like, kind of crazy ways of doing things, but he's a genius. He's a genius. He's a great coach, so, I mean, he, Sometimes he, he knows how to be crazy, but it's in, in, a, in a good way, you right. know. Um, he, he has a lot of knowledge, and you know, you just want to listen to him every time he, he tries to tell you something, so. Go! Go! And get up to the guy, go to the guy! Smallest guy in the court! If you really guard, it's going to be hard not to play. If you don't really guard, there's going to be some games you don't get in at all. The whole game, you don't play. Zero. Uh, Kevin. K E V I M Boyle B O Y O E. Switch, switch! And you're telling him, switch under, switch under! And you gotta come up so he doesn't shoot it over, come off the screen and shoot the jump shot. Probably intense and emotional. Um, you know, being a point guard growing up, uh, a gym rat, always being in the gym. You, you know, you kinda had a lot of experience playing and coaching that you're usually seeing a play ahead. You know, you're trying to, you know, uh, communicate to your guys the best you can, and you're able to do that more in the high school level, than maybe the college level, and definitely the higher levels. All right, RJ, you've had almost every award given to you in your senior year, but now a national championship. How does this Last work? season, our team went 35-0 and and won another high school national championship. I mean, I think we just had all the pieces we needed. Guys coming off the bench, uh, we had the chemistry. RJ Bear, obviously, the best player in the country. And, all the other players, I think we just molded very well together. And Balsa Kopravica from Belgrade, Serbia. Balsa Kopravica's seven footer uh, going to, to Florida State next year. Um, so he's seven feet, he has great size, but Balsa is uniquely and, and rarely skilled to, to be seven feet tall. He, he has a legit shot to be a great NBA player. I think he's probably one of the most skilled big men I've ever played with. And I think that's special for his size and his skill set. It's just rare. You don't really see a lot of players like that. He's so talented. He's super skilled. He protects the rim. He's just, and he's a great guy to be around. Like, he's one of my favorite teammates because he's not only, like he's, he'll work hard, he does the right thing, and he keeps the team first mainly. So he's just a great guy to be around. My name is Cade Cunningham. I'm a junior from Arlington, Texas. Cade is uh, an unbelievable talent. Um, Cade plays the, the game with, with such a high basketball IQ. Um, 
He has great size at the point guard position. He's 6'7", he's explosive. Uh, he shoots it well from the outside. Um, he's unselfish, he's a great leader. The way his game is built is just, it's different. It's not something you see regularly it's all from a lot of guys. I'm pressure to Chua, and I'm from Nigeria. Uh, I mean, obviously, he's a freak of nature, so. Just having like somebody like that on your team, he just brings so much versatility to the game. It's easier playing with him because of the type of player he is. And he's another guy that's just all about winning, which is something that I love to be around. So, Because people, people look at Precious. Like when things going bad, they look for Precious to see how he's acting. And you know, I, that's what it takes to be a leader. If people are looking at you, then that's, that's, some, like, that's one of the checks that you already need, so. Precious Achua, uh, it's 6'8", uh, explosive, strong, um, but also extremely skilled. We're expecting him to be one of the most dominant players in the country this year. Well, I think, you know, that's where Mount Vernon's great. We, ha we have kids from over 90 countries this year, and it's just a tremendous, diverse experience. I mean, there's so many different cultures and stuff like that, so. You really, you really learn about like how people think, because people, everybody thinks differently and has different opinions and stuff. So it, it makes you respect everybody because you know you don't know where people come from. So, or what they go right? Yeah, it's a blessing really to get to know everybody like that. Um, I think, I think that's huge, especially for me. I'm not from the United States, and just coming to a place where being able to meet people from various places, I think that's special because. You get to learn about people, you get to respect the type of life or the type of culture they bring, and you just learn to respect people for who they are and you accept them. Uh, the Montverde Academy Center for Basketball Development is an elite skill development program um, for players aged from seventh grade up to post-grad. Um, so the students go to, to school here at Montverde Academy. Uh, we have boarding available, so some of them live in the dorms. We have uh, some students from Central Florida area that, that uh, live with their parents. And our guys come in every single day, starting from the first day of school, and the program is led by, by Coach Kevin Boyle and um, the training. We have uh, eight coaches here on staff, and, and all of them are, are varsity level uh, basketball coaches. So every kid in, in the Montverde Academy Center for Basketball Development gets great training, um, great skill development. They're, they're also in the weight room um, a few times a week with great facility here at, at Montverde Academy, getting stronger, um, developing their, their body for the next level as well. What made you want to come to Montverde Academy? Um, the main thing was Coach Boyle. Um, I mean, he wins. He's like, I've been watching him for a while. I think he's like the best coach in the country. So just having him as a coach, um, I mean, I, I love him. So. Uh, I think the biggest lesson on the court is just to play like, you know, like, like your life is online pretty much. Cause there's so many players out there these days, so your chance can be taken at any moment and not take anything for granted. I think that we have enough talent to compete for the title. When you look at the composite poll of, uh, that they had the other day of all the polls combined, we have 11 games against the top 15. We're usually playing, you know, minimally 12 to 15 teams a year that have hit somebody's top 25. And like I said, this year, we, I think it's eight teams that are in somebody's top 10 that we're playing. You know, so we have to be really, really good if we're, you know, we have to truly be one or two to avoid five or six losses. Our expectation for this year's team is, is to maximize our talent. Um, if that means it's undefeated in a national championship, then that's what it is. Um, if it's the best high school team ever put together, then that's what it is. But we need to maximize what we have here um, and have another great year and hopefully that ends with putting the banner up. We're going undefeated this year, and we're going to win the national championship. I'm not saying we, I'm not saying we might, I'm saying we will. To win a national championship, for sure. To go undefeated, and then to go to Geico and then win it.